Welcome everyone. Today we are here to discuss an important bacterium, Staphylococcus saprophyticus. We will cover a variety of subject areas including habitat, morphology, cultural characteristics, biochemical characteristics, virulence factors, mechanisms of antibiotic resistance, epidemiology, pathogenesis, immunological responses and diagnosis. So, let's get started. Within the population of young, sexually active women, Staphylococcus saprophyticus, identified since 1946, has become one of the most common causes of urinary tract infections UTIs. If you are in this group, it is important to be aware of potential warning signs such as pain, frequent urination, and cloudy urine that this bacterium can cause. S. Saprophyticus is a common bacteria found in the environment, mainly located on the skin and mucous membranes of humans and animals, as well as in the soil and water. Its presence can indicate the potential for infection, making it vital to practice good hygiene and be aware of its presence. S. Saprophyticus typically occurs in clusters and can be seen under the microscope as round cells, measuring 0.5 to 1.0 micrometers in diameter. It does not form spores, setting it apart from other types of bacteria. Staphylococcus saprophyticus is a bacterial species found in the environment that can cause urinary tract infections. Colonies on blood agar are typically small, white to gray, and often surrounded by a zone of beta hemolysis. Additionally, this species is catalase positive and coagulase negative. Staphylococcus saprophyticus is a facultative anaerobe, able to survive without oxygen. It ferments glucose and mannitol and hydrolyzes urea, releasing ammonia and carbon dioxide as byproducts. Its biochemical characteristics are key for its growth and development. Saprophyticus staphylococcus is a bacteria strain that primarily affects young, sexually active women. As seen in this close-up of purple cells, these strains possess the ability to cause infections in the urinary tract. To reduce the risk of transmitting these bacteria, one should maintain good hygiene and exercise caution when engaging in sexual activity. S. Saprophyticus is a bacterium commonly found in humans that is a frequent cause of urinary tract infections. For it to cause UTIs, it must employ virulence factors such as adhesins, which permit it to attach to cells in the urinary tract, and urease, which allows it to colonize the urinary bladder. S. Saprophyticus can gain resistance to antibiotics through the acquisition of plasmids or chromosomal mutations, notably making it often resistant to penicillin and other beta-lactam antibiotics. To combat this, proper steps must be taken, such as administering the appropriate antibiotics and taking preventive measures to reduce the level of antibiotic resistance. It is Staphylococcus saprophyticus that is the major cause of urinary tract infections in young, sexually active women. This bacterium can be transmitted through sexual contact and is also present in environmental sources. Therefore, it is essential to take the needed measures to stave off such infections and proper treatment should be administered if exposed to this particular species. S. Saprophyticus is a bacteria that is commonly associated with causing urinary tract infections. It has the ability to colonize the urinary tract and produce urease, which can lead to the formation of bladder stones. Furthermore, this bacteria can cause inflammation and tissue damage, thus it is important to identify and treat any related symptoms quickly. We can see the effects of Staphylococcus saprophyticus infection on blood cells in this slide. When an infected cell is present, the body produces antibodies to combat the infection. The immune system also deploys immune cells to the site of infection in order to restrict the growth of the bacteria. Culturing a urine sample on blood agar or other selective media is essential for the correct diagnosis of Staphylococcus saprophyticus. Identification can then be further confirmed with biochemical tests, or even through the use of advanced molecular methods such as PCR. Being thorough when diagnosing this type of infection is important in order to ensure an accurate identification and subsequent course of treatment. 
When it comes to preventing UTIs caused by Staphylococcus saprophyticus, good hygiene, drinking plenty of water, and urinating after sexual activity are some of the best steps you can take. Additionally, using condoms and avoiding repeated episodes of cystitis can also help reduce the risk. Staphylococcus saprophyticus is a type of bacteria that can cause infections in the urinary tract. Treatment typically involves antibiotics, such as nitrofurantoin or trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole. It's important to be mindful of resistance patterns when selecting an antibiotic for treatment. If you're uncertain, it's best to consult with a healthcare professional. Thank you for taking the time to learn about this condition.